how do you envision uh, the teamwork going with them? I mean, we've talked, we've talked, you know, um, countless times, um, just about me being myself, me being aggressive, um, you know, picking my spots. Um, there'll be a lot of opportunities for myself along with other guys, you know, to be aggressive with so much attention on Kevin and Kai. So I'm um, just picking our spots and just being aggressive, trusting the work we've put in throughout the summer. Next question goes to Brian Lewis of the New York Post. <clears throat> Hey, Karis. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? All right. Um, obviously, you know, you pay attention to everything that's, you know, going on, and you see your name in trade rumors, but then you also see KD, who we all know you got this pre-existing relationship with, really values you as a player and wants you on the team. So I'm curious, how do you, having been in the league a few years, how do you process all that stuff? When you see this thing, you see that thing, how do you process that and absorb all that? It's part of the business. Um, you know, they tell you that from day one. Um, coming into it, you know, nobody is irreplaceable. So, um, you know, guys get moved every single year. Um, so for us, we just have to be prepared for any situation. You know, um, I try not to pay attention to it, but it's kind of hard when you uh, turn on the TV and you see certain things, you turn on your social media, you see certain things. But uh, I just worry about, you know, the team, myself, um, putting in work every day and trying to maximize uh, my potential, what I have going on. Next up is Malika Andrews from ESPN. Hi, Karis. I, I'm wondering how you're getting and processing news about coronavirus and the different uh, spikes and upticks in New York City. Is it just from the team or are you watching, reading other things? How are you getting that information? Yeah, a little bit of both. Um, it's, I think it's definitely going to be interesting the next couple of weeks how um, not only the NBA, but how, you know, New York as a whole handles, um, you know, the uptick in numbers and things like that. So um, definitely be interesting, you know, to see uh, with the practice facility, you know, shutting down and things like that. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but you've seen it happen with other teams and things like that. So, um, you know, I'm just praying for everybody out there to, uh, you know, stay safe. Um, you know, stay clean during these times. Next question goes to Christian Winfield from the New York Daily News. Hey, what's going on, Karis? Um, happy belated Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed that time with your family. Um, just, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the, the your, this is really kind of like your first rodeo with, with trade rumors, right? Do, do these feel more real uh, than maybe any year previous? And how have you kind of uh, you know, you, you talked about, you know, it's everywhere. How have you kind of like, what, is there any specific method that you've used to kind of block that stuff out of your mind so that you can just focus on what's ahead of you and focus on, on the basketball? Yeah, I think this was kind of maybe my first real year. I think in, in the past, it was something for like Jimmy Butler, or Anthony Davis or something like that. Um, but for me, I kind of just focus, like I said, focus on the work um, that I'm putting in, just try to, you know, stay consistent with my routine. Um, that I do every single day um, and just try to black everything else out. And whatever happens, happens at the end of the day. Um, you know, I just try to think about it like that. You know, whatever happens, it was meant to be and it'll happen that way. So I don't stress myself out over it. Next up is Tom Dowd from BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Karis. Just, you know, looking back at the summer in Orlando, as you got out of there and time passed, how did you look back at that experience in terms of, you know, just the way you played and, and what it means for you going forward? Um, I just try to build off of it, try to look forward um, and not try to go back. I feel like every single year I've gotten better um, and I want to continue with that trend. Um, and I think the bubble was a great step for not only myself, but for all the guys who went down there. Um, just with, you know, building confidence against uh, playoff caliber teams, um, I think it was huge for all of us. So I think you know, just using that as a stepping stone and just getting to the next level uh, for everybody. I think that's the goal for us. Next question goes to Alex Schiffer of The Athletic. Hey, Karis, kind of piggybacking off of Brian's question. It talked to, you talked about what you've talked with Kyrie. Uh, Ky, Ky, yeah, I can't talk right now. Kevin and Kyrie with your role. What what are your conversations with Steve Nash been like and some of the, the newer staff members like Mike D'Antoni? I think, everybody, I think everybody's on the same page um, as far as, you know, role is concerned. Just um, 
do what I do best, you know, kind of be someone who's very versatile, who can do, you know, um, a lot of things really well. Um, just depending on who I'm out there on the court with, um, whether it be playing off the ball, playing on the ball, just being ready for every situation. Um, and I think that's what I've kind of just been preparing myself for um, this long off season we've had. Next question goes to Ian Begley of SNY. Harris, thanks for doing this. I uh, hope your family and friends are well, uh, given the circumstances. Um, I'm sorry to belabor the point about the trade rumors, whatever, but Sean Marks had said the other day that with some of the stuff, he'll, he'll talk to guys whose names come up and just, <clears throat> hey, just worry about what you have in front of us. Don't pay attention to that stuff. Let's focus on our group. Have those, has he had those kinds of conversations with you? I've, I've spoken to Sean, you know, I talk to Sean a lot, though, um, a couple of times a week. So uh, those things definitely come up and he's, you know, um, an open book, honestly, when it comes to that type of stuff. Uh, me and him have a great relationship. So, um, you know, if something does happen, I feel like I'll know about it. Um, I feel like he'll tell me. But other than that, we're kind of just focused on what we have going on right now. We'll go back to Greg Logan from Newsday. Uh, Karis, I was wondering if you could tell me uh, what have what kind of work have you been able to put in uh, since the bubble, and secondly, uh, what has it been like this week to get to back together with the guys and see them, even though you're you're just in the individual workout phase. Um, the type of work I've been putting in, I kind of just like I said, been preparing myself for every situation. Um, so I've been doing you know a lot of off the ball shooting, catch and shoot shots. Um, you know, and then preparing myself to play on the ball as well. Um, uh, still continuing with my strength and my lower body strength and things like that, my balance work, making sure I'm all the way healthy going into the season. Um, but, you know, I, I think for me, it's just maximizing the time that I've had, you know, from when the season shut down, which was like March up until now, it's been a, it's been a long time. So I don't even think of it as, broken up within the bubble because I was consistently kind of putting work in throughout the whole time. So I think it'll be fun um, with the season coming up. I feel like everyone's kind of been, you know, locked in doing the same thing. Back to Christian Winfield from the New York Daily News. Hey, Karis. Obviously, there's been a lot made about, you know, potential trades, but there's also the other side where you guys have added players and you guys are bringing guys back that are healthy. And this could be you know, for, for all intents, you guys could enter the regular season with most of the guys on the roster as is uh, right now. Can you, can you just talk about the guys that you guys have just added in terms of Landry uh, and Bruce and, and just what you think about how this team is constructed and what you guys can potentially accomplish this season? Yeah, I think we made, you know, great moves um, in the off season, quote unquote off season. Um, and I think, you know, Sean and those guys do a great job. Um, you know, again, Landry, a great shooter, um, you know, proven in this league, has played in the playoffs a couple times as well. Um, then Bruce, a lockdown defender, somebody who is going to bring it each and every night on that end of the court um, and just play hard. And I think both of those guys do that. They play extremely hard. Um, like I said, Sean made great moves uh, this offseason. So I think those, those two are great additions to what we have already. Next question goes to Bob Windrum of Nets Daily. Hold on. I'm, I'm still muted here. No, we can hear you. Oh, okay. So you worked out in, um, in LA with uh, Kevin and Kai. Um, what was your impression of them uh, out there? Are they the same players that you used to see? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, it was good to see Kevin obviously come back from um, a tough injury like that. Um, but I, I think that, you know, Kevin is right back where he was, and I think everybody will see that. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited for him. I'm excited for, you know, everybody to get him back, you know, because the game I honestly wasn't the same without him. So um, I know he's super excited to get back to playing. Um, and then Kai as well. You know, I think both of those guys, you see a level of kind of just focus, um, and both of them are super locked in, um, ready to go. Um, and I, I train with Kai closely the past couple of months. Um, and like I said, he's just been super locked in. 
uh, his body looks great as well. His, uh, his movements look great, um, and he looks extremely healthy. So I can't wait to get out there with those guys. And last question, we'll go to Brian Lewis from the New York Post again. In the, uh, in the bubble, you were obviously one of the breakout guys uh, in the league. But, I mean, you were playing a lot on the ball. Uh, usage rate was through the roof. I'm curious, is the catch and shoot, I mean, is that your biggest thing that you've been working on to make sure that you're a good fit with Kai and Katie? I mean, is that the primary thing that you think you've been working on? I've been working on a lot of different things. Um, I've been working on that as well. But um, honestly, that hasn't been something that I've been asked to do at a, at a at a large volume in the NBA, honestly. Um, when I was in college, I did it a lot. I did it very well, too. So um, that's something that I honestly am looking forward to, um, not even showing people that I can do, just doing it. You know what I mean? I haven't really been asked to do that since I've been in the NBA. So um, I love playing off the ball. It's fun for me. So um, I can't wait to do that this season. I think it's going to be uh, very beneficial for all of us.